hello there beautiful soul welcome back to the channel thanks for being here i hope you're well these are general money messages for the sign of cancers because they're general they may not all apply to all of you so take the messages that resonates with you and i hope they're going to be able to help you on your journey all right it's a beautiful day and i give thanks let's get into your messages some of you may feel alone you may feel like you're doing something all on your own when it comes to money you may feel like um yeah i feel like you've dealt with a lot you've come a far way you made some investments that you felt good and comfortable about you went through some disappointments you had to let go of a certain people places animals and things including family and friends and i feel like you're pulling forward successfully a lot of success for you happiness as you feel like you've made the right decision but maybe somehow at the end of the day still cancer you may feel like you're still alone or isolated because you know it could be because you're different it could be the way how you express yourself all right so there could be um Yeah, it was a long road. It's that a song. To getting to where you are now, something is a promise. Like you made a promise to yourself, but it was a long road. You put in a lot of energy. Sometimes you had sleepless nights. Your energy was drained. You invested a lot of your create, creative juices, a lot of your money, also talents into, into your success. I hear fortune and I feel like you inherit something. You may get something or you may feel like someone is trying to take something that belongs to you. Like someone is taking something that is yours for themselves. Or you may get something from someone that really belongs to you. This may be about a baton or something being passed on to you like an inheritance. So you are inheriting something that is also making you very confident, stable financially, feeling financially secure, confident like well polished i feel yeah okay and someone was disappointed in the situation so we're gonna ask who that energy was that was that's disappointed that you have inherited something maybe land right okay so also there could be someone talking about you taking information or this could be your thoughts, someone's thoughts of you. Maybe someone trying to take from you. I feel like you may find out who this person is. I feel like evidence or evident who this individual is. This is an individual that may have not been on your side that much in your progress along your journey. Someone is disappointed about some investment that they made. This person could be old or this person may have some a head full of gray hairs. This person may feel lonely or regretful about a decision that they made. All right. So that could have been at Gemini Libra Aquarius. Okay, my dear, so some of you have the gift of sight or foresight or you have some natural gifts that you have inherited from your ancestors. Maybe you speak truth, maybe they speak you truth offends others. Because you, you, what you speak is the truth. The Ace of Swords, you have Christ consciousness. What you speak is the truth. You're confident. Look, son. <laughs> You're abundant, you're joyful, you look abundance in wealth and prosperity for you. But at the same time, and you may be coming up on something that you love or meeting a person that you love or you're designing something that someone loves or someone loves you. You're so creative, you're like godlike energy to tell you the truth. You take pleasure in what it is that you do, it brings you joy. You wouldn't mind just creating and creating and creating. That brings you so much joy and it's bringing you prosperity. But I feel like there are some people, places, animals and things that seem to be disappointed that 
you win even though you may not necessarily be paying attention to these people i feel dogs for some reason or maybe it's the moon card um these people could somehow be around you in your vicinity maybe people exes <sighs> people you used to love and celebrate with all right maybe you're doing like i said before you're doing something on your own even i hear selfish people may say you're selfish um there's something also in your money reading about sex maybe pregnancies yeah i feel like some of you are gonna partner with a person that you may fall in love with or someone may be mixing business and pleasure but this is not low vibrational look lovers this could be someone from your past that wants to come around and interfere with you. This person may be lonely or missing you. Lonely, yeah. All right, something like that. And this person may be trying to come and talk to you, but this could be a distraction. This person may be coming with money. Yeah. So watch your mind space. I'm seeing the two of swords in all of your readings today. So let's see if we can clarify, if we can get some feels off of it like you may get some downloads or some intuition about what people are thinking saying feeling about you but today is the day that you're becoming self-aware you're accepting yourself yeah you're accepting who you are and you're wearing it with confidence clarity i just feel boldness like people may be saying things about you to tell you the truth like i can feel their lips like psh, 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 psh. And they look at you and talk about you. Like these people could be standing at a distance. But the words that they're speaking is coming toward you. That's like magic energy. You know what I mean? Who gives the F right now kind of vibration. So I feel like you're protecting yourself and blocking yourself from the words and the thoughts. I mentioned that in a previous reading of others. You're going through this transformation. I hear helium. That's a gas. Alright. So someone that felt stuck, you're not going to be stuck anymore. You're inheriting something brand new. Your life is going to turn around. Look. Oh, show me more about the Ten of Pentacles. That's like millionaire vibration. Will Cancer be happy and at peace? Yes. Yes, your dreams are coming true and you're going to be successful. This is just a part of the journey. Enjoy the process. Wow, I like that. Enjoy the process. You're going to be moving into calmer waters, peace of mind. But this is like, these are the moments that are going to make it even more enjoyable for you once you get where you're going in your business, in your career. Some of you are getting a new job at a different place like um some kind of a um law firm possibly or a financial institution or some of you are even going back to school some of you are leveling up making yourself official oh my my battery you may be talking about some business with someone so you may call someone to discuss business with them this person could be a player indeed so Relax, meditate, clear your mind so that when you speak, you get what you want kind of energy. And you don't let other people rumble all over your vibration. Whoa, I just see a lot of money for you. So keep putting in the work, financial balance and stability, like infinite streams and flows of money. You may feel a little bit frustrated or confused when it comes to certain energies. Maybe your creativity, maybe your third eye. Your instincts, your insight, but take it easy with yourself, right? If you feel like you're losing passion or drive or something, that's why I'm saying maybe it's the day to restore yourself to a swords, for a swords. Get some rest, relaxation, meditate. Meditate for like an hour. Listen to some music and just try to just be by your, embrace being by yourself today to calm anxiety, stress, worry. Maybe before making any decisions or doing any business with anyone today look high priestess says yeah yeah the high priestess wants to talk about an individual that may come forward to you maybe with an offering of water or healing 
or noise or something. This person could be Pisces, Gemini, Sagittarius. This person could be a mother or a father. This person could be watching you. This or it could be two people that's watching you. There's something about death. Yes. Yes, you are going through a transformation. So like people that were maybe trying to hold you back, keep you down, or judge you, or talk about you. These people that they've been watching you, right? They've been watching if what they're saying about you is true, if their magic is working. But it's ending. It's like you're going to kind of disappear and then reappear. These people, don't, <laughs> they're not going to know where you went or what happened. They're talking about your sex life, who you're, you've been with, what you've been through. Like they just, oh, they talk about your, your past, your ex, your relationships. They talk about your money. They talk about your life, your family. They talk about the things about you that they think are negative. They just, those are the things that they talk about with you, about you, with, with maybe with each other. These people may even try to steal from you. So we're going to look who is stealing from you. These people could be jealous, angry, envious energy. So they, they just want to hurt you in some way. But I see the sun card is saying success. So I feel like the magic that these people would have been doing on you was to keep you tired and weary, stuff like that. Or, you know, maybe it is not even intentional. It's just because you're allowing what other people think of you to really monitor your movements, your life. So that's why this transformation is taking place and is going to start from inside of yourself for you. Bring yourself back together all in one. Get aligned again. Because you're kind of out of this world. You're extreme. The full card look. You're extremely out of this world. You're, look, the ace of pentacles. You're supposed to be on top, just shining. You're not supposed to have issues and problems and stress. Yeah, lover's card. You're supposed to just align and manifest and have fun. And bring things into being. You're supposed to be like a living example of wealth and abundance for people to see in a happy way. But of course, you know that people are going to feel jealous and envious and try to sabotage you because of that. So it's good that you know that as the high priestess so that you can protect yourself. Because not all words coming at you from someone is really good. They're really just watching you to see what's going on. In your life and maybe trying to keep you stuck in cycles of confusion so you don't make decisions to move forward all right i love you so i see you remember we see a lot of success infinite amount of money streaming into your life keep working on you working on your energies inside get sunlight get water get air become more self-aware trust in yourself more trust in your intuition your high priestess is here the goddesses the goddess is here with you. You are a goddess. You're connecting to the divine. Trust in your intuition. Trust in the messages. And put yourself first, really. Watch this. Ace of Pentacles, King of Cups. Put yourself first. Value yourself first. And really stop listening to the opinions of people who... <laughs> like, why would you take advice from someone who isn't doing what you're doing or who has the information that you want like they have no experience in it but they have all the advice to give to you right they can talk about you talk about you talk about you but their life isn't together either you know what i mean when you're the one focused upon your dreams manifesting making investments so on and so forth and creating and building stability you're the one with the independent thought. And you're going to care about what people think about you. And these people, they don't have their lives together. Come on, man. So this can also be society. They want to keep you asleep and keep you in a box. It of swords, hierophant. Keeping you mentally slaved. All right. I feel like they will probably do everything and anything to like block off your third eye. To keep you in a spell, in a trance moon card. 
and they will use people around you that's gonna come around and say something like it is sweet but it is like seance but anyway i see you moving into calmer waters so much love and joy and abundance even though you may be alone really like when it comes to your earthly family some of you may be moving to live alone or with two people three people or something like that but i see you moving up from here take it easy dwell in your heart space meditate ask for help pray connect back to the spiritual side if you feel alone so you have that support on the spiritual side going forward when it comes to making decisions, taking action, making moves to fulfilling your dreams. All right. Take it easy up there. Much love. See you in the next one.